Eyewitness investigator David Hammer broke the story yesterday of a criminal investigation. And tonight, he tells us about the policies and laws that may apply. Latoya Cantrell's campaign is firing back today, calling for an ethics investigation into District Attorney Leon Canizero for disclosing the criminal complaint. Canizero openly supports Cantrell's opponent, Desiree Charbonnet, and he employs Charbonnet's brother, Bernard Bunny Charbonnet, as a contract civil attorney. Assistant District Attorney Chris Bowman said Canizero, quote, believed that it was prudent to inform media outlets that asked about the existence of any criminal complaints that the office had turned all such matters over to the Attorney General's office. Charbonnet's you know campaign what? says Cantrell should have her own ethical concerns after ethical. she used personal or campaign funds to reimburse almost $9,000 in charges on her city card. So we looked into the rules and laws surrounding credit cards. The City Council's own credit card policy clearly states cardholders may not use the procurement card for personal or unauthorized expenses or use the procurement card to purchase alcoholic beverages. A review of hundreds of public records show Cantrell did purchase alcohol with her city credit card at least five times, including this time at the new hotel in Brooklyn, New York. It took two months for her to reimburse the $18.51. Records also show she spent $318 to upgrade her room for three nights at a resort lodge in Aspen, Colorado. That was in August 2013, and Cantrell didn't reimburse the city for it until this July as she was entering the mayor's race. Former state ethics attorney Gray Sexton says the state ethics board can fine public officials for using their agency's money to benefit themselves or their campaigns. He also said state theft and malfeasance laws could apply, but only if there's an intent to disguise or shield the spending from the public. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. Cantrell's former chief of staff, Marilyn Wood, handled credit card billing for Cantrell. She told us there was never any intent to hide any charges. She admitted there were some mistakes and oversights, but said that many of the reimbursements were made out of an abundance of caution on what they still believe were legitimate public expenses.